Hello everyone. My name is Emma with Arizona Science Center and thank you all so much for joining me here on Facebook for today's experiment. Today I want to talk to you about just kind of a little bit about what science is and how we engage with science. Science really at its root is just engaging with the world around us and asking questions about it. Engaging with our natural curiosity, such as you may go outside and look at the sky and ask yourself, why is the sky blue? Well, as you run experiments and research that, you're engaging with science to learn more about the world around you. So today we're going to engage in our natural curiosity and run an experiment to find out why is the sky blue? This is a really simple experiment that you can do along with me at home. All you're gonna need is a clear container of water. I have a nice big glass container, but you can use plastic, whatever you have at home. You're going to need a flashlight so make sure that works. And then you're going to need milk or powdered milk. I'm gonna use powdered milk, I have it in this cup. If you don't have milk at home, that's totally okay. You can still do this. You just need bar, white bar soap and you can actually um, scrape it off and do the same thing. Okay, and then a spoon to help you scoop things in. Okay. So today we're gonna to find out why is the sky blue? Let me ask any of you to start with. Why do you think the sky is blue? Part of the scientific process is making a prediction. So using the knowledge we already have, we predict what we think the answer is gonna be. So think to yourself, what is your prediction? Why is the sky blue? Okay, so for today's experiment, we're gonna be creating a model of the sky to find out why the sky is blue. Our water here is going to be our atmosphere. This will be our atmosphere. And then our flashlight is going to be what gives us light. What's in the sky that gives us light? What's in the sky that gives us light? Yeah, the sun. So our flashlight will be the sun. Now, what is our atmosphere that's all around us? What is our atmosphere made out of? Do any of you know? If you think you know, put it down in the comments. What is our atmosphere made out of? Gases, yes! So our atmosphere is made out of gases. Well, the sun shines through and we get blue. Oh, except right now we don't. Our atmosphere doesn't have any gases in it and our light goes straight on through and is it blue? No, it's just bright. So I think what we need to do is we need to add some of those gases into our atmosphere and see what happens. That's where our milk comes into play. Our milk is going to represent the gases that fill up our atmosphere. So just a little bit at a time Go ahead and stir in some milk. So I just put a little bit in and I stir it in. And then let's shine the light through. What happened? Well, my light can't get all the way through the container anymore. That's interesting. That's what I'm observing. That's part of the scientific process is as we run our experiment, we need to make observations. Not quite blue yet, so I think we need to add in more gases. Do any of you know what kind of gases make up our atmosphere? I'll give you a hint, we breathe one of them. Yeah, oxygen. We have oxygen, we have carbon dioxide, we have nitrogen. So as you're running this experiment, you're just gonna add a little bit of milk at a time and shine your light through until your, you can even just leave the sun on because the sun is always on, until your water 
your atmosphere, your sky turns blue. And this might work better for you in the dark because then it won't interfere with lights all around you. Oh, I think it's done it. Oh, wow. So my sky is now blue. Why do you think that is? What do you think's happening? What happened when I added in the gases? What happened to the water? What did you notice? Well, I can see that it's no longer clear. Remember my light could pass all the way through the water before I added in the milk, those gases? Yeah, now it's clouded. That actually causes the light from my sun, my flashlight, to scatter. The gases in the atmosphere scatter the light that the sun sends down and the light travels in wavelengths. Different wavelengths create different colors and the blue wavelength gets scattered the most. And that's why our sky is blue. So our sky is blue because light gets scattered by the gases in our atmosphere. Does that match what you predicted would happen? You can run this experiment a few times to see if you get the same results. A challenge you can have is actually seeing what might create a sunset or sunrise because those times of day, the sky is a different color. As you add in more, I'm just gonna dump the rest in, you might see the, the milk change color. Okay, I didn't have enough milk to make it happen, but you guys can try at home. As you add in more and more milk or soap, you might find that your sky might turn red or orange, and that's because of how the sun is hitting our container. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and engaging your natural curiosity for science here on Facebook. Remember to tune in for another activity on Thursday and connect with us at azscience.org. Thank you all so much for joining me.